it is time that you bridge the gap from wanting your desire to actually having it. Now, we all want things in life and there is a potential for us to have those things that we want and desire. But how do we make that potential an actual reality? I think first we need to talk about what even is potential. Like, how do we know what our potential is? What even is it? And how do we access it? Now, there's an ancient mysticism that's called Kabbalah, which decodes the Old Testament and explains how the stories in the Bible were not meant to be taken as literal history lessons, but rather gives us practical tools and decodes the symbology within the Bible to explain to us the spiritual workings and the spiritual laws in this universe. Now, Kabbalah explains our potential as something called our surrounding light. So there is light that is all around us at all times. In fact, every single thing that we can ever think of or imagine or possibly desire, it exists. But it doesn't exist in this physical reality as we're seeing it right now. It exists on another dimension, you could say, in something called the quantum field, the endless world, as Kabbalah says, a parallel reality. It exists on another plane of reality. Neville Goddard calls this creation is finished. There's nothing that is to be created in this world, and there is nothing that can be destroyed in this world. First law of thermodynamics, nothing is created nor destroyed. The energies that exist have always existed in this universe. And this applies to our manifestations as well. Everything that we could possibly desire or think up, it exists right now on some level of reality waiting for us to meet up with it. For example, there is a timeline and a reality where you are a multi-millionaire. That version of you is existing right now in this present moment on another timeline of reality. It is up to you to access that potential, that surrounding light, the light that is around you, but is not yet in reach. It's, it's energetic. It's existing here, but it's not yet physical. It's not yet in reality. It is the light that is around you, but it's stuck in a state of potential and possibility until you manifest it, bring it down and make it real. Okay. So now the question is, how do we make it real? That is exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahosa, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then welcome. I am so grateful that you are here with me on this channel. I created this YouTube channel because I believe that we were all created to create the best world possible by expressing ourselves, expressing our gifts with this world, being the leader that you know you are on this earth to be, and that all begins with you creating the best world possible for yourself. That way you have that full cup energy that you can bring to the people around you and to the world at large. If you are interested on topics on self-development, spirituality, mindset, philosophy, psychology, ancient esoteric wisdoms and knowledge, practical organizational skills, self-expression, and blending all of that with business and leadership, then this YouTube channel is going to be your best friend because we talk about all of that and so much more. Now, to get into the topic of today's video, let's jump right in and answer the question, how can I make my potential, my desire, what I want in my life, a reality? And the answer is actually so simple that I'm sure you know it, but hey, we could all use reminders here and there. But not only that, but we, it's not just about knowing the answer, but it's about actually applying it. It is not just the knowledge that we need, but it's that application of that knowledge that then creates wisdom. It then creates lived experiences. So we now have testimonies of these methods working. So the answer to make it simple, and I'm actually gonna grab my little microphone for this one, is we need to think from the end. Or in other words, we need to think in our daily lives as if our desire, the potential that we desire to call in, as if it's already happened or happening or it is our life. We need to think and feel as if our desire is already here. We need to think from the desire, as Neville Goddard says. Think from the end. So let me explain it to you in a visual way. I have here some lip gloss and I have here my mascara. So this right here is where you are right now in your life. This is your current reality, your current identity. And this is where you wanna be, okay? So you're here, but you wanna be here. Now you cannot be both the mascara and the lip gloss at the same time. You're either one or the other. You're either your current self or you are your future self. Now, if you're always thinking from your current self and the things that you've experienced, 
experience and your past identity and your past self, the familiar feelings that you're so used to feeling and you continue to feel them, you continue to think them at all times, you are going to stay in this reality. But when you start to think as the lip gloss, you start to act as the lip gloss. You then merge with the lip gloss until you become the lip gloss. So that was my little visual example of shifting your state. You need to think I am already that. I am who I desire to be rather than I am becoming her or I am going to be her. No, you are already in that version of you. Now, how do you think from the end? How do you think now as this new person, this new version and this new identity of you? And I believe this is so fundamental, so key. And every time I fall off of this, I have to remind myself that this is the thing that is going to bring me back on track. That's going to bring me into alignment with thinking from the end. And that is including mindfulness in your day. Adding mindfulness and intentionality into your day helps to slow us down. It helps to get us into a state of remembering who we are, remembering our power, being intentional and conscious about where we're directing our focus. It helps us get into that state of gratitude for what we don't yet have as if we already have it. When we feel like we have something that's not yet physically in our reality, this is what we call certainty. Having certainty in the light, certainty in the creator. When we feel good and we don't yet have a reason to feel good, that energy is rewarded. Having certainty in the light of the creator is rewarded. Now, because creation is finished and all potential timelines exist in this present moment, once you decide and declare the timeline that you want to be living in, what's next is aligning your consciousness with that reality. Your consciousness is everything, okay? Consciousness is the foundation of all the other things that you're ever going to do in your life to attain your goals. If you don't have the consciousness first, then it's going to take a lot longer it's going to be a little harder for things to fall into place, but also for you to be actually fulfilled in your life. And you get to have it all, right? Why just choose the desire, but not the fulfillment that comes with it, right? We want it all. We want that BVE over here, okay? That big vessel energy. We want to be able to hold it all. The abundance, the love, the best possible career, the health, the vitality and the spirituality, the fulfillment, the connection to the light of the creator, we can have it all. Now, it's important that we also talk about action too, because I think in the manifestation community, the action aspect gets left out of the conversation and gets overlooked, but it's our action that are the manifestation of our thoughts. We all know that what we believe manifests, right? So if you ever wanna know what you believe, it's super simple. All you have to do is take a look around at how you are acting in this world because your actions are a manifestation. They're a byproduct of your true subconscious beliefs. If you don't know what your subconscious beliefs are and you know your beliefs manifest, you need to look at your actions. What are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? How are you behaving, right? So your behaviors, your actions, and what you're calling into your reality right now, what you've been manifesting, that is what you truly believe about yourself and about the world. Your actions are going to tell the truth about your state of consciousness. So this is why we do need to pay attention to our actions as well and what practical steps are we taking to get to our goals? So once we start with the consciousness work, meaning adding mindfulness into our daily routine, this could be daily meditations, this could be daily prayers, just taking some time to slow down, preferably in the morning. That's how I like to have my routine. But you want to just practice being in the now. You want to practice being in this moment because when you slow your thoughts down, you're able to be intentional about where you place your focus and where you place your thoughts. When you're intentional, about where your thoughts and emotions are going, you're able to think more on the reality that you desire to create as if it's already here, therefore blending in those two worlds and you quantum leaping from one reality to the next. The more you begin to reprogram your mind with these new thoughts that you're inputting as this new version of you, the easier it's going to become and the more you're going to see your actions are naturally aligning with who you say that you are. If you're affirming that you are this new person and you're telling yourself you're this new person, you're feeling like you're this new person, over time, your actions are going to reflect that as well. And that is going to amplify and exponentialize your growth and your results and collapse that time between who you are now and who you desire to be. So very simply put, how do you collapse time between potential to reality? You think as if you're already living that life. Now, if you're someone who's a big planner and you like having these big ideas and you always are desiring new things to manifest in your life, but you have trouble with actually executing and bringing those ideas down 
down into reality, into manifestation, then I created a practical guide and essentially a digital planner that will guide you to finally execute on your vision in a fun, productive and happy way so that you can collapse that time between where you are now to where you desire to be. I'll leave it in the description below and I'll also leave it in a pinned comment in the comment section of this video. Download that workbook and actually implement and execute it. This is a 12 week plan to finally take your manifestations out of your mind and bring them into reality and make a tangible, physical, practical plan that will get you to a complete life transformation within only 12 weeks. If you downloaded the workbook and if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to leave below a comment of the light bulb emoji and make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. Thank you so, so much for sharing your valuable time and focus with me, which are your most valuable resources. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.